Today we're going to take an in-depth look at a 1989 Ferrari Testarossa, iconic supercar of the 80s. It paved the road with its styling and design that had never been seen before. So if you're just curious, already own one, or thinking about buying one, stay with us and we'll take a closer look at this historic vehicle. In 1984, the Ferrari Testarossa made a huge splash in the automotive industry and quickly became a poster car pinned on many a bedroom wall. 30 years later, the Testarossa styling still makes a statement and commands attention, making it as pleasing to look at today as when it was first introduced. The Testarossa was designed to replace the Berlinetta Boxer 512 and improve on it in two major ways, excessive cabin heating and compliance with the U.S. safety and emissions regulations. Styling and design, really cutting edge. It's got two radiators, one on either side with the big, big slats on the side that uh, allow this car to not be worrying about overheating. This is a nice blend of form and functionality. As the air moves through the side intakes, it not only helps cool the car, but goes up and out through ventilation holes on the rear deck lid to create downforce and remove the need for a rear wing. The rack and pinion steering is a big part of how this car connects the driver to the road. The no power steering, which really gives you command and feel of the road and puts you in touch with the road. It won't help parallel parking, but that's not what they designed it for. When the power kicks in, you've got a lot more control. Leather wrapped interior and classic gated shifter puts you in a comfortable yet sporting position. Somewhat supple and luxurious in here and spacious, but it also still reminds you that it's a thoroughbred sports car with the ability to really feel what's going on on the road and gobs of power behind you. The power plant is the lifeblood of any Ferrari and a direct link to the company's heritage. The flat 12 makes a great sound as you work through the gears. The word Testarossa means redhead and this is echoed by the red cam covers on the motor. While the car needs to be maintained and run on a regular basis, it is very flexible and can be used for daily driving. If you see white smoke on startup, don't be alarmed. This is natural for the cylinder configuration and on healthy cars disappears quickly. And with close to 390 horsepower, it has no trouble getting you down the road in a hurry. But if you want to just cruise, it can do that too. The generation that idolized these cars is now at an age where they can afford them, and good examples will always hold their value. In my opinion, it's one of the most beautiful cars ever designed, and certainly one of Ferrari's boldest efforts. It is an icon that will remain so for years to come.